y'all welcome to today's video so today i'm gonna show y'all how i dye my hair at home i know a lot of people are having to do this right now because of quarantine and all that stuff or maybe if you're trying to keep yourself safe because you got little babies or you have somebody in your family that you're trying to look out for and you just want to stay safe and you're not really going out anywhere i know a lot of people are probably having to do this so I figured I'd do a little video and show y'all kind of just what I do mm, when I dye all this crazy hair. I don't know if y'all can see, but my roots are kind of starting to grow out a little bit. You probably can't really see it on the camera, but my hair is not too far off from this shade. It's just a teeny bit lighter. And yes, I have a couple grays like right here that um, like to come through. So... Having babies will do that to you. I just feel like it needs a touch up. It's losing its luster. It's just looking a little dull. Yeah, so normally I use just a dark brown shade, but my husband picked this up for me last time he went out. This is a dark mahogany brown. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna go with a mahogany brown. Hopefully it shows up. Hopefully I don't look like Ronald McDonald. It doesn't really look too red or anything on here, which I've gone red before and I liked it, so we'll give it a try. So let's go ahead and get started. So this one is Revlon Dark Mahogany Brown. So when you open up the box, this is what you get. Um, this first bottle is step one. The second bottle has a number two on it for step two. And then the number three is this little packet of conditioner that you use when you rinse out the color. And then you also get this pack of directions. And when you open it up inside, usually um, you'll see the gloves stuck to the inside of the directions. So here are my gloves. I'm just going to pull those off because you definitely need gloves when you're doing this. So there are both of my gloves and everything's ready to go. I also would like to point out, in case you didn't notice, there is a towel on the floor. Just in case some of the dye drips, um, this will save your floor from getting stained. Okay, so first we take number one, the bottle, and we take the lid off. And then we take number two and we take that lid off. And then we're going to pour number two into number one. Make sure you get it all in there. Then you just put the lid back on and shake it up real good. It says to thoroughly mix. So you really want to make sure that you get everything mixed really well. All right, next we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to trim off the tip of the nozzle so that we have an opening to squeeze it out. So I like to make sure that I have like a shirt that has a big neck and like a strapless bra or if I wasn't filming this, I probably would just have on like a towel or something so that it's easy to get on and off once you have all the stuff in your hair. I also like to have any kind of little clip that'll hold your hair up once you get everything in your hair. Me personally, I can't have all this like just hanging down everywhere with dye all over it. So I like to clip my hair up when I do it. That might be wrong, but that's just the way that I do it. So let's put our gloves on. Give it one more good shake before we start. All right, let the fun begin. So usually I just squirt it in a zigzag pattern back and forth, starting at my roots. And then I rub it in with my hands real good. Then I'll take my finger and pull my hair over to the next section of roots. And usually I'll just work my way all the way across my head first, doing the roots first the same way. Just keep repeating zigzag pattern and then rubbing it into my roots real good. y'all I love the way hair dye smells I know it's probably toxic but I just think it smells so good okay so now I'm going the other direction and doing the other side of my head and the roots on that side
Okay, so we got all that part done. Now I've got all my hair pushed back and I'm gonna go ahead and do around my face and make sure that all the hair around my face is coated really good. Next, I make sure that the back roots are done really good. So I'm just taking it and running it down like the back of my head and making sure that my scalp is fully covered in the back. Okay, so now I separate it into two sections on each side and I'm just going to take my um, dye in my hand and kind of just use it like shampoo. Rub it together and rub it down through the rest of my hair. This is where I don't really care as much because my main focus is my roots. Um, so I just kind of like to blend it down through the rest of the hair and not worry so much about the ends of my hair. And this is the part where I definitely am getting some drips on my towel. So that's why it's good to have that down so you don't mess your floor up. Okay, so I went ahead and clipped up that half of my hair that's done. Just so it's not sitting on my shirt and like rubbing my arms and getting dye everywhere. So it keeps it a lot neater when I just throw it up like that. So I know I probably could definitely use two boxes if I cared about getting every strand and making sure my hair was fully coated. Um, but since I really just sort of blend out the ends and my main focus is the roots, um, I only use one bottle and it seems to work okay for me. Okay, so once I've got that part done, I throw my hair up in a clip all on top of my head. And then we're going to take our gloves off and I like to fold them inside out when I take them off so I don't get dye on everything. And I usually just throw everything in that little box that everything came in just to keep the dye from getting on anything. And I just throw that whole box in the trash. And now we wait 25 minutes. Um, while I'm waiting, I usually take some makeup wipes that um, I don't really care about. Like these I got in one of my boxy charms. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to get all the dye off of me because it definitely gets on my arms, on the back of my neck. And of course, it's all over my face and my forehead, which I really like to have makeup on when I do it because the makeup kind of blocks it from getting on my skin, which is nice. So it just wipes right off. Also, make sure you wipe the tops of your ears and around your ears. And I'll see y'all when it's time. Okay, so time's up. We're going to go rinse this out in the shower. And, oh, don't forget your little packet of conditioner. You need to take that with you when you rinse it out. All right, so we're out of the shower. It's all rinsed out. And I love this little towel from Lange. It's got like a button on the back, so it's perfect for holding all my hair up. Um, It just keeps it all nice and neat, and I love it. So we can't really tell what the color's going to look like till we dry it, but I did go ahead and touch up my makeup, just in case you're wondering. So we're going to take the Lange Miracle Mist, and I'm going to go ahead and spray that through my hair. And then I'm going to section off the top half of my hair, and then go ahead and brush through the bottom half that's out. And I'm going to start drying my hair with the La Volume. I really love this thing. Um, it works so good. The more I've used it, the better I get at using it each time. And it's just so easy and so fast. So I really love using this thing to dry my hair with. Okay, so I've got the bottom section done. I'm going to go ahead and take the top out and spray it down and brush it out real good and then we're going to dry the top part. With the top section once I get it somewhat dry I like to take and work from like one side to the other like I did when I dyed the hair. So I'll go down the sides and flip it over on top of my head and then I'll start on the other side and work it back in the other direction just to make sure I get everything really dry and get the roots dried really good so this seems to work good for me okay so now I like to make sure I find my part where it's supposed to be and y'all I was burning up so bad it's so hot every time I dry my hair I feel like I'm dying but this is the end result overall I don't know if y'all can see the roots but the color is I think a little too light for me this time I think it's pretty and it did a good job. It just didn't cover as much as the dark brown that I normally use does. 
but it definitely looks better than it did. We're going to put some spray, a little bit more just to give some shine. And I hope y'all like this video. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.